Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now today's sport is a worldwide popular sport. Uh, in many countries, in most countries, we say football, but in America we say soccer. I really don't know why, but today we'll say football, all right? So Leicester City, or Leicester City, sorry, wins English Premier League. So the Premier League it's a soccer tournament, you can say, and Leicester City, they are a very small city, right? They don't have a lot of money, but they have very good players and a very good coach. So, Leicester City Football Club, that's the name of their team, won the 2016 English Premier League Championship on May 2nd because Tottenham Hotspur FC tied with Chelsea FC 2-2, two to two, right? So these two teams, they were tied, right? Meaning they were at the same level. The most unlikely of champions, unlikely, we are saying very, very low chance of being the champions, started this season with one to 5,000 odds of winning the title. So they're saying, if they played the championship 5,000 times, they will only win one time, right? So that means if they play only one time, their chance of winning or is very, very unlikely, right? It's a very, very low chance of winning. Odds uh, means chance. Uh, after nearly being dismissed to a lower league last season, so they were almost kicked out because they were very, very bad. They had very little chance. They almost, the uh, tournament, they almost said to get out of the league and go to a lower league. So all sports pundits or sports experts or analysts predicted or they guessed a low finish and likely relegation or likely kicking out, high chance of kicking out at the start of the new term. But in the new campaign, in the new sort of season, the team lost only three league matches and won the crown by 10 points over their closest challengers. So to review, this team, Leicester City, in the beginning, they had very, very, very low chance of winning. Many pundits, experts, they say, oh no, they will lose. Don't worry about them. They will get kicked out. They will get relegated. However, but they became the champions. They went from the very bottom to the very, very top. Since the Premier League started in 2002 to 2000 and, sorry, 1992 and 1993, only the Blackburn Rovers have managed to rest or to sort of take away the title away from either Arsenal, Manchester City, Manchester United, or Chelsea. So these four teams, they were always the winners. And Blackburn Rovers, they were the only ones to take away or wrest the title away from them. But now we can add Leicester to that list. Additionally, Leicester had the lowest average time of ball possession at 42% of any winner since 2007. So ball possession means the time that their team controlled the ball. So when they're passing, they have more ball possession but it was the lowest, so they didn't control the ball very long. Their time possession was very low. Sure, typically successful teams with much larger payrolls, such as Arsenal and Manchester United, fail to match uh, Leicester's consistency <clears throat> throughout the season. So payrolls, we're talking about how much money we're giving. So teams like Arsenal and Manchester United, they have a lot of money, so they pay they can get a very, lot of superstars, but they couldn't match, this is the Arsenal and Manchester, but they couldn't match Leicester's consistency throughout the season. Consistency we're talking about, they always do a good job. They never go up and down, good and bad. They always just stay right, consistent, always. We can sort of guess how they're going to always do. The little minnows, or the little sort of frog um, creatures, are expected to reap or take in millions of pounds in additional income. They're expected to make a lot of money, the champions, for qualifying for the Union of European Football Association Champions League next year. 
So they're going to level up, we can say, into a new league. And when they level up, they will get a lot more money. All right, so uh, we can say this is the underdog story. They thought they would lose, but they became the winners. Okay, we have three review questions here. A, what happened to Leicester City FC? They blank the 2016 English Premier League Championship. So they didn't lose, right? We're talking about them because they are the winners. They are the champions. They won the tournament. Won is the past tense of win, right? Winning is now. One is they won before in May. B. Why is this event so significant? Why is it important? Why are you and I talking about it? It was thought to be very blank for Leicester City to win the championship given their poor performance last season. So last season they did very poor. So when they were talking about the next season, they had a very, very low chance of winning. So very low chance, it means very unlikely. So in the summer, it is unlikely to snow. It has a very low chance to snow. In the winter time, it's very unlikely for it to be very hot. It has a low chance of being hot. C. What will be the reward for Le Leicester City winning the championship? They will be able to blank for the UEFA Championships League next year. So this league, if you want to go in, you cannot just go in, anybody can go in. That's not how it works. You have to pass a certain test. And when you pass that test, we say you are qualified. So if you want to be a doctor, you cannot just say, hey, I'm a doctor, give me a job at the hospital. You have to go to school, take a test, and practice under other doctors, and then you are qualified, you have the license, you are past the test to be a doctor, right? Qualified means you pass the test. Okay, we have three key review terms here. All sports blank, predicted or guessed, a low finish, and likely relegation at the start of the new term. So they predicted means they sort of guessed or estimated what will happen in the future, right? meteorologists or people on the news they predict the weather what will be the weather tomorrow next week next month right so what kind of people talk about sports all the time we can say pundits pundits are experts in a subject so if we talk about you know political pundits we they talk about presidents and Bakkenen and uh, Obama. If we talk about sports pundits, these are experts in sports. We could talk about dance pundits. They just study dance every day and they know a lot about dance. C or B. Typically, successful teams with much larger payrolls, more money, as Arsenal and Man U, fail to match Leicester's blank throughout the city. So other teams, they have more money, right? But Leicester's team, they are winners because they always do just about the same uh, every game. They don't go bad and good and bad and good. They don't change a lot. They're very, very sort of steady. And we say that is consistency. Consistency means we don't change a lot. We always, every day, we kind of stay about the same. Or every game, they played about the same. C. Since the Premier League started in 92-93, only the Blackburn Rovers have managed to blank the title away from either Arsenal, Man U, or Manchester City, Man U, and Chelsea. These four teams usually were the champions, and the title means they were the champions, right? The championship title, the trophy. And only this team was able to steal it, not steal it, but take it away to win it away from this team before Leicester. So another word to say to, you know, wrestle away something is to rest. When you're fighting for something and then you are the winner, then you rest something. You take away something from them. All right. So again, to review, rest is to physically or symbolically beat them, beat somebody and take away something like a trophy or a championship. 
Consistency means not changing like this. No, no. It's actually just you know being steady like uh, every game. Pundits, we are talking about experts in a subject. So math pundits, they love math. They talk about math every day and they're experts in math. All right, so next time you probably have already heard about this team in the news, but not only about soccer, you don't always have to be the best at something from the very beginning. You can start at the bottom, and if you try hard, if you never give up, if you are consistent, right, then you can you know, be at the top someday. All right, so thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.